Welcome to our video on the topic of SI and EVSV S2 diamonds. Diamond grading is an important aspect to consider when purchasing a diamond, as it affects both the appearance and price of the diamond. Two common diamond grades are SI only and VS2. But what sets them apart? Today, we'll be discussing the four main differences between these two diamond grades. Let's dive in and find out. An SIONI diamond has noticeable inclusions when viewed at tank's magnification, but they are sometimes invisible to the naked eye. SIONI is the seventh lowest position in the GIA clarity scale. It's one grade below VS2 and one above S it will. So the inclusions are slightly more impactful than the former, but less than the latter. VS2 is the sixth highest position on the clarity scale. It sits above SIONI and below VSON. Similar to SIONI, a VS2 diamond doesn't have an exact number of inclusions. It may contain several small pinpoints and a few clouds or an edge channel and cavity. The grade is determined by their overall impact on the diamond. It's a subjective judgment where the gemologist scans the diamond with the jeweler's loop. If the inclusions are difficult to spot with the naked eye, but generally visible at tank's magnification, it may earn the VS2 clarity grade. SIONI diamonds often have more inclusions. Although clarity grades aren't referring to an exact number of inclusions, SIONI diamonds often have a higher number of flaws compared to VS2 diamonds. That's because if all the blemishes are the same size and type, the one with fewer occurrences will earn a higher clarity grade. A significant number of inclusions has a stronger likelihood of becoming visible to the naked eye and affecting its durability. Several occurrences of small twinning wisp, clouds, or etched channels can add up to have a noticeable impact on its appeal. VS2 diamonds rarely have visible inclusions. Most buyers aren't concerned with the details of a diamond's inclusions and its clarity grade. Instead, they pay attention to whether its blemishes are visible to the naked eye. It's known as an eye-clean diamond. VS2 diamonds that weigh less than 2 carats rarely have visible inclusions when viewed in a normal setting. That's why they are a popular choice for engagement ring diamonds. The center diamond commands all the attention, so buyers don't want to see black spots scattered across its table or a large feather extending down the pavilion. SIONI diamonds are less durable and brilliant. The effects of inclusions on SIONI and VS2 diamonds aren't limited to its visual appeal. They also impact durability and brilliance. Inclusions represent weak points in a diamond structure. It's more likely to chip if it's hit or dropped on an area with an inclusion. This is especially true if the flaw is located on a sharp corner, such as those found on a princess cut. These points and ones on markwise and pear cuts are already vulnerable. Combined with inclusions like those in an SIONI diamond, it's important to have a quality setting that protects these areas. VS2 diamonds sell for a higher price. Buyers pay a premium to avoid inclusions. So if all else is equal, each step up the clarity scale increases its price. VS2 diamonds are more expensive than SIONI diamonds. To help understand how prices change depending on the clarity grade, we examined prices for 116 diamonds from James Allen, a leading online jewelry retailer. The ones with SIONI clarity sold for an average of $4,328, with a range of $3,890, $4,790. Ones that earned a VS2 grade sold for $5,197 on average. The range was $4,280, $6,220. That's a 20% higher price for a VS2 diamond compared to an SI-only diamond. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.